This is a story about a boy named James who was forced to live with his two abusive aunts in the English countryside after his parents died to a rhinoceros. One day, a mysterious old man presents James with a bag of tiny green crystals that have magical powers. However, James falls and spills the tiny green crystals near a dormant peach tree in the yard. The lifeless tree suddenly sprouts a peach which begins to grow larger and larger. His abusive aunts take notice of the giant peach and begin charging people money to see it. After locking up James all day, the ants force him to clean up after the crowds are gone. But as James is cleaning, he discovers a tunnel leading to the middle of the giant peach. There, he finds a group of human-sized insects, centipede, grasshopper, spider, earthworm, ladybug, silkworm, and glowworm. The group befriends James and attribute their giant growth to having eaten the tiny green crystals that James had spilled. Early the next day, the group decides to venture out by cutting the stem connecting the peach to the tree. The giant peach begins to roll down the hillside, killing James's two ants in the process. The giant peach rolls faster and faster until it lands in the ocean. To avoid a group of vicious sharks, James attaches strings to hundreds of seagulls, and the peach is carried in the air. As they are floating in the air, they see cloud men, mystic creatures who are responsible for different types of weather like rain, snow, and hail. And as they are drifting through the clouds, the peach crashes into a rainbow and begins to descend. James sees that they are approaching land, and the giant peach crashes on top of the Empire State Building. And in the end, all of the insects become successful in America, and James, who has made a lot of new friends, lives in the large peat pit in Central Park. This story urges readers to take a closer look at the world around them. First, a closer look at nature. There are several amazing things that happen in the natural world, from photosynthesis to the water cycle. The book even explores the importance of each type of insect and how each of them contributes to the well-being of the environment. But this idea of looking closer at the world also applies to looking at people and how we should take the time to talk to them to get to know them. In doing so, we can find out how they contribute to the rest of us, since everyone contributes to the world. The author also creates a mythos of cloud men to explain how different weather is created. And what's interesting about this mythos is that it has elements that almost make it tribal with gods and mystics not science responsible for natural phenomenon. What this does is portray the world as organic rather than mechanical. That first, nature is controllable, and second, that nature is controlled by organic or mystic beings. And on a more hopeful note, the underlying message of this story is that there are ways to escape a troubling home life. The verbal and emotional abuse James receives is a bit over the top, but that might be the reality for some kids. How do they escape that? And while they can't fly away on a giant peach, ultimately, this story suggests that abused kids can find possible escapes through friends and writing. That the power of relationships and creativity and imagination are all a person needs to take them anywhere they want to go. 